It's very important thing that many of uh, um, the individuals are going through this scenario. Now, again, if I have to put it into a couple of important aspects, it is like some people are already in long time lockdown, even for as simple as working from home. For some people, it is quite strenuous because their colleagues, their personal interactions have been impaired. Some people have been quarantined or, as you said, traveling from overseas. So forced quarantine or 14 days or whatever uh, the regulations of the particular country says. It is important to stay socially close even when maintaining physical distance. Stay digitally connected by keeping in touch with friends, colleagues and family using email, apps or social media. As simple as in your free time watching same movies, reading the same book and then discussing it in virtual meetings, having a virtual t- uh, chat while drinking coffee or a cup of tea or a milkshake together. Daily routine, as I said earlier also, first of all, plan and uphold a daily routine and also create a well-being plan for the day and weeks. If somebody is just in a quarantine situation, if they don't have a routine, they will feel more overwhelmed and they will feel more uh, lonely. But if a routine is set, it helps to accomplish. It can be that, okay, 10 o'clock, uh, one chat, 15 minutes, quick chat with the old classmate. Post lunch, one game of a chess round or a, a video karaoke song session with some group of people. Uh, using activities which require some skills but are not externally motivated as simple as going to the window and looking around, getting some fresh in the morning and evening, make it a part of the routine. You're, you can't step out of the house or the facility, but you can surely enjoy the scenes around, whatever limited, and it will give your brain some other meat to think about. You will not feel lonely. If you are in a home facility, having a list of things that you would have wanted to do sometime in life, but have not been able to. There's not a single human being who will not have a list of to-dos that I wanted to do in my teens, but I didn't have time because I was preparing for my exams. Now I'm an adult. Now I have a job or family, so I can't do it. Use these times to go through those activities. Listening to some healthy podcast, cleaning the house. If you have a balcony or garden, That's one of your biggest saviors. Plants really pep up our mood. Playing board games. If you're not highly infectious state, listening and discussing some radio, TV shows, which take a good time of our daily routine. Otherwise, again, if the health condition is okay, taking turns of caring for children. Nowadays, there are very many online resources for activities or to do at home with children, adults, There are self-help groups. Even if you don't have a self-help group and you have access to internet, you can easily find one. Maintain hope. Believe in something meaningful. Whether family, faith, country or value system because our motivation is derived out of these. Use stress management techniques. Physical relaxation techniques can reduce stress levels very drastically. They are useful methods to manage pain and emotional turmoil also. Most people are familiar in today's time with stretch management technique. But the sad part is we don't practice it. We don't apply it. We think it is for somebody else. So these important things help us to sustain through that loneliness or quarantine period. One important thing is accept your feelings. It can cause a lot of emotional reaction, anger, frustration, anxiety, regret, second guessing yourself, self-blame. These days I'm seeing a lot of self-blame. If I could have not done that, that would have not happened. But see, that if and this, that is not in your control in today's context. What matters is here and now. And if we make here and now more meaningful, Obviously, most likely tomorrow will be 
a bit better these are not the normal circumstances but we have to accept them that this will also change eventually 